Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a get ready with me type of style video and while I'm getting ready I'm going to talk to you guys about fashion design, like studying fashion design. I thankfully have graduated um, now but I have a lot to tell you. I'm always asked about this topic so a lot of you must want to know what it's like to study fashion design in Ireland. But yeah, I know that it's a difficult decision to make when you are trying to figure out what you want to study. I would have loved if someone made a video like this when I was making my decision. So if I don't answer all of your questions in this video, then be sure to just leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll get back to it when I can. So thank you for watching in advance and if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel too. I'd be really grateful. I'm just gonna do like my usual, like this is just day to day makeup, probably. Unless I get carried away, which could easily happen. I got a new concealer and I'm very excited about it because I need it. Oh, I need it. Finally organised my makeup a little bit. I mean, it could be better, but it could be a lot worse than it is as well. But everything is like, still not organised enough. I need like loads more storage didn't realise how much stuff I'd got. Well, I'm going to use L'Oreal to match. Mix in a few colours because I am like in between as usual. There's I literally never can just use the one foundation. I always just mix. I don't know why. I just I never feel like it's the right colour. I kind of feel like I need a bit of um, primer. I'm going to use some Bare Coast Illuminator underneath my foundation because I want to be a little glowy today. So yeah, I'm going to start off talking about um, studying fashion design anyway. So basically when I was in school, I was in sixth year before I decided what I wanted to do and I, like I just didn't know. I had like little ideas sometimes but I never really knew, I never was one of those people who like fall on knew what I was going to study when I left school so I was like yeah this is grand isn't it no problem and like I was never like over like <laughs> I was never like really into school like never was oh there was nothing that I was like, really 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 good at the only thing that I was probably not even good at but just like more interested in was art and I also liked at the time I was really into like health and fitness so I also really liked um like nutrition and stuff like that at the time and I was actually considering doing that for a good while but um yeah I, was, I wasn't like oh, I'd love to do that I was just trying to find stuff to do because they were putting pressure on us to like know what we were doing in um, college like we had career guidance classes and we we had to like look up courses and stuff like that in those and do all these like tests and whatever to like try figure out what we're good at and stuff like that but like <laughs> yeah I feel like it's hard but it definitely gave me the push to like look into stuff because if I didn't get that push I wouldn't have like found um the course that I did and stuff like that so yeah so I think it was probably Christmas of sixth year yeah it was Christmas of sixth year before like literally just before the Christmas break that I was like okay like I just need to decide like I need to know what I'm putting on my CEO and everything and like I knew I definitely wanted to go to college it wasn't like really an option that I didn't so, like I just I don't know the school that I went to was very focused that we like went to college and stuff like that and it wasn't like discussed that you didn't do you know what I mean it was just like what are you putting on your CEO and that's it everyone literally had to fill out their CEO and I'm pretty sure we had to fill out the whole thing like put like loads and loads of things on it like loads of options even if they're not particularly what we wanted so I think I put loads of random things like event management and like business and stuff like that I never even did business in school but kind of wish I did now because I feel like it would be beneficial but anyway anyway yes yeah, so by Christmas I had decided that I wanted to do fashion design and 
I remember I was like where can I do it and there was PLC courses and there was a level 8 and I just really wanted to just do the level 8 I didn't want to waste any time and um, I feel like when you're in school a year seems like such a long time because like, I'm not wasting a year of my life doing this I'm not wasting a year of my life doing a portfolio course I'm not like I just want to do it and then um I mean kind of foolish because I didn't actually know <laughs> if I even liked it like I liked like I was interested in what I wore and stuff like that like I didn't really have money to spend because I was in school so like I bought I bought clothes but like I wasn't obsessed with clothes but fashion was probably one of the things that I was slightly interested in do you know what I mean my neck doesn't even match like why am I actually like this and I remember I said to my art teacher oh like I'm thinking of studying fashion design and stuff like that and um like I need to make a portfolio and stuff like that like it's too late to make one now when she was basically like pretty discouraging and was like you don't have time to start it now like we were lucky and we had like a portfolio class in our school on a Friday afternoon so I was like can I just do that I think I'd already been doing it anyway at like I think I'd started it kind of yeah I don't really think that my art teacher had that much faith in me that I could do it but I really just wanted to do it and at the end of the day it was up to me and my parents and not really her so um I think she encouraged me to do like other little courses like she wanted me to do there's one in Grafton I can't think of the name yeah it was just like a dressmaking course which like I'm just not like into like I, I'm not I'm still not even like particularly into like how clothes are made like I I understand it's so much better as a designer to know how clothes are made so like I don't I'm so happy that we had to do that I actually love this concealer I got it in the wrong color but it's actually really nice and light um yeah so like now I understand that you need to know that but and like just you like you can't design stuff if you don't even know how to get into it like if you haven't got a clue about design and you might know about fashion it's kind of hard when you literally can't decide how a zip is put into it or like how to create a certain shape and stuff like that and like making patterns and stuff like that which you do in college is like pretty important because it informs you so much on stuff like that like some things are just not possible or like a fabric will make something look completely different um, to how it would in a different fabric so like little stuff like that is really important obviously and I mean now I feel like I enjoy making stuff but when you're under pressure in college doing it you're like oh I don't want to. So my favourite part of college was definitely designing but anyway I'll get into all that okay I'm getting carried away as per usual but yeah so the other courses that she was suggesting were other PLC courses or else a year portfolio course she basically just didn't think that I could make a portfolio in that amount of time and I feel like if I went to a different college I might not have been able to like colleges like NCAD and Limerick probably have like well NCAD first of all has a really strict like well this is what it was at the time I don't know if they've changed it now but at the time they this was like four years ago they had maybe five <laughs> and a bit they had like a really strict um what's called brief for their portfolio so you couldn't like just make a portfolio and apply to like Griffith, Limerick and NTAD because NTAD wanted a specific one that you had to follow so unless you made your whole portfolio around the NTAD brief then you couldn't apply to other colleges if you get what I mean so yeah and they're also I don't know if it's the same anymore but they were like not easy to get into then as well so but if I really wanted to go to NCAD I probably would have tried that or else if I really really wanted to then I probably and I didn't like get in I would have um, taken a year to study to study a year to make a portfolio for there um, and like followed their guidelines or whatever but I'm not gonna lie to you I just didn't think that it was for me like I really am not artsy do you know what I mean like they're just very artsy like different kind of people like crazy over the top like I literally wear black and tracksuits like I just I went into college every single day in a pair of leggings or a tracksuit and a big fat hoodie so I just I wouldn't I don't know I felt like at the time 
I mean, not th I wouldn't really be worried about it now, but at the time I was like, I wouldn't fit in there. I just, it didn't feel right for me. Um, like it never really came into my head that I wanted to go there. I was completely aware of the course and that they did fashion design. But yeah, it just didn't seem like it suited me. Like Brick, just seems like it would suit me so much more. It has such small classes and it's easy to get to and um, like little things like that and I don't know it just felt right for me and I also came across that course literally first when I was on I don't know what quali fax or quali something is like a website that I was looking for courses on and um, and it came up there that was literally like the first place that I saw it and it just kind of felt right for me so yeah, I decided to apply to Griffith, they're a level 8 course, so are NTAD, so you get the exact same qualification. Griffith is a tiny bit more money because it's private, but Griffith was also only 3 years long and NTAD was 4 because they had a core year, I don't know if that's changed, and I actually think Griffith could be 4 years now, they were talking about introducing an extra year, so I don't know if they've done that or not. Um, but yeah, so that also appealed to me. Yeah, I just decided, no, I'm going to do what I want to do. And I told my teacher that I was going to start going to a portfolio class every week and I was going to go to college. And if I didn't get into Griffith, I was going to do probably like a PLC course rather than just um, a portfolio course because I was like, there's no point in me doing a portfolio course when I don't even know if I'm going to like fashion design. So I was like, it probably makes a lot more sense for me to... Um, do a PLC in fashion design and have like an idea of what I'm doing and have like a basic knowledge of it. Not a basic knowledge, but a bit of knowledge of what I'm doing going into Griffith. And now, sometimes I don't know if I wish that I did do a PLC first because I feel like I was quite young. I think there was like only like two or three of us that came straight from school. Um, and like made our portfolio during school because I think most schools had like don't really do that unless you do extra classes um, and on top of the leaving cert like I get that most people probably don't have that but I like personally I don't think that there's any point in putting a crazy amount of pressure on yourself and going to get hundreds and hundreds of points when you know what you want to do so my course I think required like I obviously had to have a leaving cert I had to have a certain amount of, I don't know, there wasn't certain points that I needed, I just needed to like do fairly well in all the subjects and I think I had to have higher level art above like a C or C, I can't remember what I needed, um, but yeah I think it was like a, something like that, it could be different now anyways, um, but yeah. I'll leave like a link to Qualifax or whatever the website's called that has like literally all the details on what you need. It's such a good website. So yeah, I didn't have like a crazy, crazy amount of study to do. Like I always just did my homework. Like if we had a little test, I'd like study most of the time. I'd like I did a bit of study, but not very much. Um, because I obviously had to make my portfolio. So I'd spend like one day at the weekend on my homework and the other day probably on my um portfolio and then I did have to take off like a few mornings and stuff to like do extra portfolio and I had to go to the class on a Friday afternoon after school as well which you slip and hate going to but it had to be done because yes like we were so lucky that we got like advice and stuff like that from our teacher and she was a great teacher but she expected so flipping much like genuine we would expect you to come in with a full notebook of work done every single week and I'd just be like oh. <laughs> So yeah, I think we had to hand up in March. i actually pretty sure that I found out afterwards that there was another hand up in like April or something afterwards. So like if you didn't make that one, I don't know. But like they could have already made up their mind as to who they were giving places to. I also think that it was a lot flipping harder to get into than it is nowadays because um, our class was so full. Like there was genuinely so many people. There was... I think 20 was the maximum there was 20 in the year that I started in and um, when I went and then the like last year that is there now has way less and towards the end people dropped out and stuff like that and there was way way less than that in my year. <laughs> it is like definitely an intense course like if it's not for you it's not for you it's not like 
the I don't want to put any courses down so I'm not going to name any but um it's not like the usual like courses that people just do kind of to have a degree and stuff like that and like you have to really want it and you have to really be ready for it and you know stuff like that like it's not crazy crazy difficult I found first year mm, not difficult like I was able to pass everything but I didn't do amazingly well and I didn't like I was literally learning the basics from scratch because I didn't know how to sew like we sewed a pair of pajama bottoms in and I think I made a question as well in um Hamek but like my teacher literally did it all for me like I did not know how to use that sewing machine and oh those tracksuit bottoms like oh my god like the lines were literally sewn like this it was I know it was honestly so bad I used to just like put my foot down on the sewing machine and then it would just like fly along and I'd just be like but I managed to play that way. So yeah, I literally had to learn the basics of how to sew, the basics of pattern cutting. I had no idea how to make a pattern. I had no idea how clothes were made, how they went together. I genuinely knew nothing. Like, I knew how to draw and that was pretty much it. I wasn't an excellent drawer. I think I got a B... A B2 in art. Like, I'm not a bloody amazing drawer or anything like that. Um, and I did put in work into art. That was probably the one class that I did the most for for the leaving cert. So yeah, but the only good thing is that a lot of art is like finished towards the end of the year. So like I had my portfolio done and dusted and shown in May. And then I think only a few weeks after that, I found out that I'd got in like probably eight, March, April, yeah, probably, probably by April I knew that I'd got a place. And yeah, I remember the day so much and so well when I heard that my portfolio passed. So obviously then it was just relying on my points, which I was like pretty hopeful that I could get. So I wasn't too worried about them. It was mostly if my portfolio was required, well, was required, was accepted. So yeah, I didn't even put anything to blend in. I just didn't even think it through. I was for flipping usual. Anyway, now let's get into when I was actually in college. So yeah, basically I started straight into first year after school in the September or whenever it is that you go to college. I'm just going to talk you through the Griffith course because basically in Ireland there's only Griffith, Limerick and NCAD. I'm pretty sure now unless there's somewhere else that I'm moving out but I'm, they're the only ones that I know of anyway that you can study fashion design as a level eight. There's PLCs and stuff like that. I know Sally Noggin and Bray both do those. Oh, and I forgot to say, I also applied to those and got accepted into those just in case I wasn't approved for Griffith or also in case I couldn't afford Griffith because it's a flipping lot of money. And my parents did get loans and I paid for a lot of materials and stuff like that as well myself on top of it because there's just so much stuff that you actually have to buy as well. Like when I started, I needed all the stuff for the sewing machine. They have um, industrial sewing machines in Griffith and NCOD have them as well. But um, they're like bigger sewing machines, much better than the domestic ones that you would have like in your house and stuff. And then you also had to buy all the fabric and stuff that you used to make things. You had to buy calico which is like a basic fabric that you use to like work out how all the patterns and stuff like that are made you use a lot of that like we all bought like rolls of it because it was cheapest to buy it that way and um, you obviously need all the like art kind of stuff in first year you do a lot of basic like art kind of classes like colour and stuff like that so you do stuff for that so then the modules that we did in first year yeah we had all those like basic ones we had fashion drawing we had like life drawing classes we actually had life drawing um every year i think but not a huge amount of it like just for a few weeks every year and like a model will come in and we draw them and then also had like a design class which is called studio we had sewing class and then we had pattern class and sewing and pattern kind of went together like you'd have the same lecture for those but you'd have different days so you'd have like one day in the pattern room and then you'd have another day in the sewing room and then towards the end um especially when you're in third year they all kind of just blend in together like they kind of just let you 
work on whatever you need to work on in those and then so yeah the work that we had to do now I don't know if they've changed this but this is what it was like when I was there so in the first year we had a skirt project where we had to make a skirt then in the second semester we had to make a dress we had loads and loads of little projects as well like for our like art classes we had like drawing ones we had obviously design ones where we had to make notebooks and move boards what else did we have oh yeah we had art history and it was like visual culture which that was like the module and then we had art history and then we also had like fashion history and then in third year fashion history was like contemporary fashion studies so it was about like designers now and like stuff like that it was so interesting I actually loved those classes and then we also did like marketing classes we had to make a marketing plan for a brand in third year we did like practice run of that in second year so we have to do one of ooh, a brand that's already um established and then yeah like we had essays for art history and for business we had no exams it was like continual assess assessment so we constantly had um assignments to hand up which i kind of like to be honest but then it is like constant stress throughout the whole year so i don't know how much i like it but um in terms of griffith as a college would i recommend it i don't know if everyone who's in my like who i went there with would recommend it i but I definitely think I would recommend it like you do get really small classes like there's probably nowhere else that you're going to get that so like you've got a lot of time with your lecturers um, and also the lecturers I mean like everywhere there was only one that sticks out that wasn't great but um, most of them especially when it came to third year we had amazing tutors for sure they were amazing and yeah they genuinely do really like care about you and your work and they put in a lot of time and a lot of their energy into your work especially when you're in your degree year i definitely would recommend griffith and first year i told you we had the skirt project the dress project they were like the main things Second year we had all like our little projects like I was telling you about but then our main project was our mini collection. Sorry, the first semester up until Christmas we did a tailoring project so we had to make like a tailoring outfit, an outfit that had tailoring in it basically. So we had to do like a design project for that and then make that and then the second semester we had to make a mini collection which is like a warm up for your actual collection in third year. So yeah, our mini collection had to be like a minimum of three outfits. You had to design it yourself and make it all yourself, like all the patterns and sew it. And like, that is a lot of work to be honest. Second year is a lot of work. And then third year you, I think we did like, like warm up kind of stuff. Like we did more kind of creative pattern cutting in third year at the start so we had to like make way more like creative shapes and stuff like that and you could kind of use a lot of that for your um collection if you were smart about it so that's what I did I like looked at shapes that I was interested in like to do with cars and stuff like that because over the summer before we went into third year we got our brief for our graduate collection that we had to make and basically the brief was like pretty broad like you just basically write the brief yourself <laughs> that's what the brief is like they tell you how to write the brief like you have to fit your own brief it's so hard to explain but yeah we have to basically write our own brief and like choose our own theme and whatever else and make it fit that so yeah I obviously did mine on cars and I like visited Mandela Park and like car garages and stuff like that over the summer. I actually wish that I did more um, work over the summer because I could have had all like the basic research done over the summer but I didn't because I'm the worst and I put things off and I just like two weeks before 
I went back to college was like so I better flip and start that now and I like was like come on Bo we're going to Mondello <laughs> like the weekend before I was back and like took photos and stuff like that there because also in third year everything has to be full on primary primary research like everything has to be completely done by you I mean to an extent they're like everything has to be by you but like I mean you obviously can take images and stuff like that you just have to quote everything and then, um, yes, I love this highlighter by the way, I just have to say, yeah, so then in third year, it was honestly really exciting to be honest in third year and it was the quickest year of my whole entire life, I can't even believe that it's over now, nearly a year over. Okay, so I need to hurry up because I'm nearly finished with makeup, well I feel like I've covered everything. Right now I just need lipstick and I'm dying to go to the bathroom, like I'm genuinely, I can't wait to go, like I cannot wait. I'd love to wear lashes but I just hate them, I just can't, like I just cannot wear them during the day. Uh, make money on that. Oh I never put any bronzer on. I enjoyed studying fashion design. So if it's something that you want to get into, definitely, like, and in terms of jobs there, isn't a huge amount of jobs here I mean there is places to design for you can also be a buyer for places from that course you can go on to do a master's in buying I don't even know if you really need that anymore like there's not a huge amount of people who studied fashion design or fashion buying I mean fashion buying didn't even exist as a course until a couple of years ago so most of the people who are fashion buyers worked in just retail at the moment I mean obviously now they were probably lucky they got in a few years ago before there was fashion design or um buying courses here but um but yeah like there's so many opportunities because there's not that many places to study fashion design it's not like a really common course in Ireland I mean if you want to go to London or just the UK in general or anywhere else you'll find so many more like there's London College of Fashion, Central St Martins where you can literally specialise in like anything like jewellery and shoes in sportswear anything i mean you can specialize your collection that you make anyway in college here but like mostly they make you make your portfolio with like a bit of everything in it to show that you can do everything because that's what most companies want to see when you show them your portfolio also i was thinking i might show you in a different video like how i made my portfolio and show you what it's like <laughs> i mean it's probably rotten now but um I think like I definitely have it somewhere probably in the attic so I can get it down and show you like what I did if that's helpful I don't know because I remember we saw other people's portfolios and stuff like that in school when we were doing my portfolio class and it's so helpful just to see like how it's laid out and like how many notebooks you need to have done how many like big pieces you need to have done like what's realistic like mine's not a huge portfolio I obviously made it in like three months <laughs> but it was obviously enough do you know what I mean like I feel like nearly quality over quantity is better a lot of the time like I had loads of stuff that I could put in from fifth and sixth year and I also had like loads of stuff had loads of stuff in it that I took out and just left what was good in it so yeah I can definitely show you how I did that and like all of that if it's useful to you so leave me a comment if you want me to do that and um yeah so I think that's pretty much it I think I'm finished my makeup. I think. <laughs> so yeah, I'm ready. I need to go get dressed now properly because I don't even know what I'm wearing. I'm just threw stuff on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful if you're looking into studying fashion design or if you're just genuinely curious what it's like to study fashion design. Then fair. If you were here to look at how I did my makeup, I don't even think I told you what one product was. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Also I forgot to say that someone asked me to do a video on um like life after studying fashion design and with like details on my brand that I set up in college now and like what I'm doing with that. And I don't even know the answer to half of that myself, but um yeah, so I'm definitely gonna do a video on that in like my car chat series. I need to think of a name for what I'm gonna call that series that I'm gonna do. So yeah, hopefully like once a week I'm gonna upload a video in the car on a different topic I'll probably have like little guests come on for like a little um fun video as well like 
I don't know. I just think it's something different. So yeah, I'm going to hopefully do that. And I think I might upload them on a Sunday because that's like a nice day to watch a video like that because they'll be like, you know, lighthearted. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thank you.